Hi, my name is Harold Stevens. What I'm about to show you is a clip taken in China, and I'm titling it Return to Sing Tao. But let me give you some background. I was with the 6th Marine Division, the 29th Range, in the Battle of Okinawa. We won the battle, we went to Guam, we were expecting to, to go to, on the invasion of Japan, we were loading ships, and the war ended. The war ended, we were thrilled. We're finally going to go home. But we didn't go home. They sent us to China, where I spent the next couple years. Our primary duty was to send back the Japanese that had been in Tsingtao for 18 years already. After I left, I never intended to write a book on China. I didn't. This came out, and the reason I read that wrote this book is that I had to justify what the Japanese were doing. They were rewriting history. I wrote the book, and I thought I would be in a lot of trouble in China, but I wasn't. The Chinese took the book, they, they bought the rights to it, and they translated it into Chinese. Now, I was anxious to go back to Tsingtao. I didn't know if I could do it. I didn't know how I would be received. Once I got into Tsingtao, they had, too had written history, rewritten history. They never believed that the Marines were in China. Fortunately, I took photographs and pictures with me, and I proved to them that we were there. And this is what the, the movie that you're going to see. It's bits and pieces of me walking around in China, showing the very rooms where I stayed, the very existence. And as I say, out of it came this book and another one, The Tales of the South Pacific. Both of them were being translated into Chinese. So I hope you enjoy this clip. 1945年抗日战争胜利。9月10日,武千明负责押送日本战俘的美国水兵来到青岛。史蒂文森就是其中一个。那一年他19岁。In October 25th, 1945, the Japanese were all over here. And the Japanese, uh, we had to send them back. That's why the Marines came here, to send the Japanese back. And there were... Thousands and thousands of Chinese waving to us. Thousands all over the streets. Welcome, welcome. Well, they, you know, whatever they were saying. Shidi文森和战友们一起被安排在当时的国立山东大学,也就是现在的中国海洋大学居住。Can we come in with the television? We took everything and threw it outside the window, and then they, they built us 16 bunks in here. 操练广场、练习室、洗衣房，甚至是吸烟的角落。老人对这一切都有着深深的记忆。图片上黑白两种颜色记录的只是短暂的瞬间，但在史蒂文森的脑海里，所有的记忆都是多彩。Cool and everything. We'd come back here and smoke cigarettes. This was exactly here. I wondered where this was. See, it's still there. And I would come back in, and the men were angry because I smelled of garlic. They would put my bed outside at night. Many times I would come back in, and I studied Chinese, you know, and I'd be speaking Chinese. I really loved China. I never wanted to go home. I wanted to live here the rest of my life. I was so happy in, in Tsingtao. So, Chinese. I don't know. I don't know. Can I come in? Not the manager. Director. Whoa. 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 Robert, I wish I would have brought pictures. I have hundreds of pictures that everybody we took out here all the time. Everybody would be standing and they would be sitting. And there was nothing, you know, it wasn't like this. There was no walk. You walked down to the beach. Many 
boys my own age, 17 and 18 years old, were back in America. You know, they grew up going to football games. I grew up here. This was this was my lifestyle right here, where I where I gathered everything right here. Okay, before I start crying, let's go. Xue Mi 中，老人时而欢笑，时而沉默，时而振臂高呼。没有人能够转移他的注意力，时针也仿佛只为他一个人转动。回国后，史蒂文森成为一名作家。凭着对中国的热爱，他撰写了《Take China》一书。书中，青岛成为主角。史蒂文森在青岛居住的时间并不长，可这段生活却给他留下了永久的回忆和半个世纪的怀念。青岛的路，青岛的楼，青岛的海滨浴场，还有极为可亲的青岛人。这些在六十年前给他留下美好印象的人和事，在这次行程里再次深深地打动了他。China is beautiful today. Here is make you happy. Oh, I'm happy again. I'm happy again because、um, everybody says, "Oh, you go back to Singtao,、uh, it's changed. You're not going to know it." But this morning I went down to the the church, you know,、mm -hmm. and I walked around the streets. It's the same. It's the same. The same little restaurants. The people here are very, very nice. The people smile. They talk to you. Old women. I could take pictures of anybody. Can I take your picture and then smile? Yes, yes. You can take our picture. It was unbelievable. <laughs> 